This module is nomenclature part two, binary molecular compounds and hydrates. So we're going to learn how to name what are called binary molecular compounds and hydrates and also how to write the formulas from the names. So let's start with binary molecular compounds. Binary means there are two elements. Molecular means both of those elements are non-metals. So to the right of the staircase. And to name them, all you do is you say the name of the first element and then say the name of the second element and change the ending of the name of the second element to IDE, just like you do for monatomic anions. Uh, they're not anions though, there's, there's no charges in these compounds. These are what we call molecular. There's, they're not ionic. Um, also, the other thing is you use the prefixes um, that I'm going to show you in a minute to say how many atoms of each element there are present in the molecule. Um, the only exception is if there's only one atom of the first element, you don't say mono, but you do say for the second, as you'll see. So here are the prefixes. Memorize them. Mono, di, tri, etc. This is what they mean. So dodeca means there are 12 um, of that atoms of that element, for example. So now, how do, let's, let's just put it into practice. How do we name these two molecules? Notice that this one contains chlorine and oxygen, which are both nonmetals. This one contains nitrogen and oxygen, which are both nonmetals. Okay, so pause for a second and see if you can name them. All right, now we're going to go. This one is called dichlorine heptoxide. Chlorine, we use the prefix di to say that there are two chlorines and the prefix hepta to say there are seven oxygens. We change its ending to IDE, so oxide. Notice we dropped that A. Hepta oxide would not be wrong. It's just a, no, nobody does it. You know, so just say heptoxide. Now this molecule here, um, there's one nitrogen and one oxygen. Remember, we do not say mono for the first element, what we do for the second. So this would just be nitrogen with no mono in front of that. Nitrogen, then monoxide. Again, monoxide is perfectly acceptable, but most, pe most people drop one of the O's, say monoxide. Let's go the other way, from the names to the formula. So dinitrogen pentoxide and phosphorus pentachloride. Pause for a second, see if you can write down the formulas. Dinitrogen pentoxide, so <clears throat> di means two, nitrogen is nitrogen, so two nitrogens. Pent or penta means five, oxide means oxygen, so five oxygens and 205. Phosphorus pentachloride, no mono, so that means there's just, there's no prefix, so that means there's one, so one phosphorus. Penta is five, chloride means chlorine, so five chlorines. There we go. Now, hydrates. A hydrate, what it is, it's, a, it's an ionic compound that has a certain number of water molecules that are loosely attached to each formula unit. And that number is the same throughout, or an average, really. For example, in this molecule here, this is the way we write the formula, by the way, for hydrate. It's rather unique in that we have this dot in the middle. You don't see that in any other formulas. Um, so the first part of the formula is the ionic compound, and it always has waters, H2Os back here, with some number in front after the bullet. Unless that number is one, if it's one, we don't write anything, we just write H2O. So how do we name these guys? Well, all you do is you say the name of the ionic compound, just like we learned in nomenclature part one, uh, and then we use the prefix, the same ones we just did a minute, used a minute ago, to say the number that's in front of the waters, and then say the word hydrate. So, the ionic compound here is, okay, there's sodium, and this is one of those polytomic ions which you're starting to memorize, hopefully. It's sulfate. Um, so this is sodium, sulfate, no Roman numeral because sodium is on one of those elements that I said you're not allowed to use a Roman numeral for, so uh, alkali metal. So sodium sulfate is the name of this part, and then penta for five, and hydrate for water. How about this one? Pause for a second, see if you can write down the, na the name of this compound right here. All right, going on. So the ionic compound is called aluminum sulfate. 12 is dodeca hydrate. So aluminum sulfate dodeca hydrate. Now let's go the other way from the name to the formula. These names are real easy to recognize as hydrates because they have the word hydrate in them. So cobalt-2 nitrate hexahydrate. You may recognize this name. So 
this part is the hexahydrate. That's the hydrate means water, hexa means six, right? Um, so now we have to, this part here is the ionic compound. So see if you can fi finish that one up, pause, and then go ahead and let's look at it. So cobalt two is cobalt with a plus two charge. Let me just write this out. Cobalt with a positive two charge. Nitrate is the name of one of those polyatomic ions, once more, that you're gonna memorize. And it's NO3 with a negative one. So when we balance the charges, we have cobalt and we have a two outside of the nitrate. So we're gonna put those parentheses and then the two outside of there. Then we write the bullet six from hexa, then hydrate.